Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from computergaga.com. This tutorial will look at a cell function in Excel. Now the cell function is an information function and it has a lot of potential. Its job is to retrieve information about a cell in your worksheet. This information could be the number format of the cell, it may be its location, or you may wish to find out if that cell is protected or if it is locked. These are the kind of things the cell function can do. As an example, I have three different types of data on this sheet at the moment. I have some text in A1, a currency in A2, or an accounting format, and a date in A3. And we'll look at some examples of this cell function. So if I was to, to type a cell function into cell C5 here, into Charlie 5, I could type equals cell as you see, it returns information about these various aspects of a cell. Since I put the opening bracket, it will list the various types of information you can find out. Now we can find out what the address of that cell is, which returns the absolute reference of the cell. We can find out its column number, row number, what's the file name of the workbook, what type of data is in this cell, is it text, is it a value, is the cell empty? Is it blank? So lots of types of information we can find out here. Uh, as an example, I'm going to start off with the, the address type. So I'm just going to press my tab key here to enter address. As you can see, address is entered in the double inverted commas. I'm going to put a comma and refer it to A2. So no prizes for guessing that the response will be A2. It returns text to the cell reference. Let's have a look at another example, equal cell, let's find out what the format of a cell is. So I'll double click on format and I'm going to refer it to A3. This one returns D1. Now there is a long list of different text permutations or what, what text is returned depending on the format. If I look at the, the format for the currency cell that will also return a text representation of it. So you can find out what these are and what you're expecting. It's very useful if you need to test a cell, you know, if you're using conditional formatting, or some kind of if function is reliant on it. So these are just some examples of this cell function. Let's say it is an information function. If you'd rather not type it in, you can go through the formulas tab, through your more functions button, and through the information category here and use your cell function this way which gives you a little bit more explanation about each argument. Thank you for watching this tutorial and please check out some of our other tips and tricks at computergarga.com.